Let's go ahead and get starboard up. Let's hope the colors are actually... Oh yeah, the colors are working for me today. Sweet! Um, oh, Sasquatch unfortunately keeps trying to split. There is auto mine enabled innately from uh, in Heart of the Swarm. You can turn it off if you want. Uh, but up here in the top left-hand corner of the map, we do have Dice spawning as the Reds are currently down 1-0 in the series of this best of three. See if he can swing things back. And in the lower right-hand corner of our map, he's from the Team Complexity in the pink trunks. It is Sasquatch. Indeed. I don't know, Ohana, I would be really kind of shocked if we saw Muta versus Muta again. Um, Ohana is generally a map that's kind of dictated by investors. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a Muta map. Looking at the, the architecture of it, there's no place to really hide behind your opponent's base here. I mean, in the lower right, yeah, you can hide in the corner, but you got nowhere to go after that. Yeah, it's one of those awkward moments where you hide in the corner and then you just wait to die. Hmm. I've been there before, it's not it's very awkward. <laughs> yeah, very, very awkward. <laughs> All right. Um, Very similar uh, Overlord scouting paths, as I would expect on a two-player map. It's it's got to feel a whole lot like Wings of Liberty when you're when you're on Ohana, and all of a sudden you've just got these new unit features popping up, and you're just like, hey, this is kind of like a bonus. I mean, it, it, the whole game feels a lot like Wings of Liberty. It's just that these new micro mechanics are really changing the way that everyone's approaching the game. Yeah. And uh, Dice is actually opting for very early hatchery here, hatchery first before any type of spawning pool. Uh, while Sasquatch himself is gone, I didn't catch if that was on 13. I would imagine it's a 13 or a 14 pool. Yeah, it's, so. it, playing it safe. Seems um, a little you know, quicker, quicker, but he is going for the hatchet follow up. So the, the, two, the two aspects of this is that Dice will have two queens up quicker, and Sas Sasquatch will have his queen up later, but of course he'll have Lings out in the field uh, much earlier for some type of map control. Yeah, and Dice actually getting the first gas here. Um, hmm. So that's quite interesting. Sasquatch will have the first inject though, so we could see him go for some uh, links off a start, but generally in higher level play you don't see that all too often. Overlord is enough of a scout, as we neither player has drone scouted yet this series. I just gotta be careful with this Overlord moving in. Yeah, the Queen will be out uh, soon enough. He still has quite a fair amount of time though. All right. I'd imagine huh? he's gonna pop it. Like right off the side here. He just moved it over. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we actually have continuation on uh, gas mine here from Dice. Hmm. This is a good map to, to get a couple defensive bane links up. Uh, he could actually be going for some sort of offensive link bane play. You really can't tell until after uh, he has a couple of drones on the field whether he opts to continue four drones or to go for uh, links. But his speed is actually going to be quite a fair way ahead of his opponent. And yeah, there's the Banelin Nest all yeah, the way. Banelin Nest before the speed of Sasquatch goes down. Though Sasquatch has started that roughly the same time. I would imagine we're going to see a Banelin Nest follow us out from him. Hmm. Queen already working on the neutral supply depot. It's such a pain to miss like that when you're trying to micro, especially in ZBZ. Yeah, and there is the Banelin Nest from Sasquatch. Alright. Based on the placement of, um, yeah, we see a links in production too. Dice has his Banley Nest in the main here, and generally that's where you want to put it if you want to go for some sort of aggressive timing. Uh, we see 10 additional links on the way too, so he's definitely going to want to hit something like with this. Yeah, he's making them a little bit earlier here. Sasquatch throwing down that spine crawler uh, in anticipation of some type of attack. And there's a. Uh, it's coming for Dice. I think once speed has just started to kick in here, now he's moved across here. So this is revealed to Sasquatch, though. He does see it with his overlords. Yeah. So he knows it's incoming. Ooh, seven Banelings morphing in here as the Baneling Nest of Sasquatch does finish up. We have two defensively and this lone spine crawler here standing in his way. Keep in mind, speed is still a couple seconds out here. Uh, so the Banelings will finish up before Sasquatch does have speed. Sasquatch is going to the lair here now. That is pretty ballsy. Most likely he's Ooh. actually... I don't know. Morphing in another Baneling, but... Must feel confident. That leaves him with three in a spine. Only showing two off the start. Here come the rest of the Banelings from Dice. Oh my gosh! 
Sasquatch's Banlings detonate on every single one of Dice's Lings, so he needs to wait for reinforcements here to do some damage. Ooh. Okay trade from Sasquatch, but his Queen is under fire. The Baneling Nest helping out so much, denying the surface area for the Lings to attack. It feels like Sasquatch is going to be okay here. He's going yeah. to clean this up. One Baneling, one more for any type of Lings coming in. We did lose two Queens in the process oh. here. And yeah, the Baneling like animation is so crazy. Isn't that awesome now? Yeah. <laughs> Pause for a second. That is crazy. I wanted to just go off on that during the engagement, but I mean, attacking to that lair though, he wasn't able to make a queen in the process. It has finished at this point here. He's made enough links to defend this, and he actually has more too. If he wants to put on a counter timing, this would be a really, really good shot at it because Dice was droning up behind that. Um, worker counts actually now quite even. We have a two drone lead for Dice, and right now layer as well as three additional gas coming down from him as well. Unit-wise, yeah, 22 lings making their way to the natural of dice, and the Bailing's only just starting now. No spine crawler left to defend. Uh oh. Sasquatch can't know for sure how far along these Bailings are, though, so he wants to play. He wants that queen. Yeah, he does. Like, they're putting and those it does fall. Lings on it. Oh, and he sneaks around all the Bailings. That was beautiful there by Sasquatch. Um, very nice control, keeping the majority of his lings alive. Here come the three Bailings. There goes one, two. And oh, three getting a gosh. huge hit. Sasquatch with really, really effective trade so far. It was awesome. He's got he's got a he's fire on the way too here, Panda. I mean, he's he's got enough for at least five units at this point. He's gonna have enough for for most likely eight to ten. And, and he will get the second queen as well, so both of them oh. oh no, the second queen does survive. That was close. Very nice drone pull there and uh, hold position by dice. Alright, so with that, thus far, we have pretty even resources lost tabs. Um, keep in mind, though, DICE has had, for the most part, a better larva inject, um, considering the fact that he's had two queens up for a larger amount of time. He's going to go for the infestation pit and a roach warren follow-up here, Panda. I don't know if that's going to be done in time. He's going to be able to deny this third base, yeah. getting the cancel off. That's pretty big. Um, oh, ventral sacks, actually, on the way here for DICE. That is quite interesting. I don't know if we're going to see some wing drops in the future, maybe a couple roach drops, I don't know. That would be kind of effective because Sasquatch doesn't have any defense in his in his natural or his main. He's got that one spine crawler, but that's not something you often see in mid-game. Keep in mind, he will have mutas out uh, very, very soon. Oh, that's so true. Seven morphing all the way right now. The drops may, <laughs> may come back to bite him here. Uh, Pathogen Glands was just started. Nine mutas. <laughs> Yeah, and this might actually catch Dice off guard here. Um, Pathogen Glands will most likely be complete just as uh, the Mutas are getting their way across the base, so yes, we four. may actually get to see some uh, fungal growth this match. Alright. <laughs> Let's do it. And Gleal Reconstitution, too. Um, so he will have Roach Move Speed and Ventral Sacks nearing completion soon. Sasquatch is, losing a couple links here. Yeah, this is pretty huge for Sasquatch to lose these links, though, because in the meantime, Dice's third base has gone up. Yeah. He doesn't have the link count to go and, and really pressure that. Now with the Mutas, though, cleaning up all those links, he that can do That was a really interesting merry-go-round. As we do have the Mutas coming in here, and oh, the hatch is finished. Gonna get oh, immediately going for the Queen first. I think he's going to either ignore or just not scout the third base. Oh, no, he does have knowledge of it at this point. Gotta know it's likely not saturated at this point. Uh, at this point. Yeah, there goes the natural queen down again. Oh man, he's gonna have free reign over these drones. The sport crawler's not in position. If it wants to go down there, it's gonna have to lift. Yeah, and the infestors actually not timed out as well as they could have been. Um, four on the way now, though. How many are in the hat natural hatchery? Sasquatch's gotta watch his rally. He just lost a muta to that spore. Yeah. Just... Well, here come the fungals. Alright, so. Right, so they reverted fungal back to, to covering units now, wasn't it? It was 10 range. Um, they they upgraded the range by 2 uh, from the most recent patch, but 1 if you consider that the base range used to be uh, 9 of the cast, and it is a 15 speed uh, projectile. Instead of, oh, and free infester there for Sasquatch, you might be able to get the natural out of this too, as none of these infestors remaining have any energy at all, and the queen coming down from the main, but it will not be in time. Oh, look at that spread. That's very nice. Oh, man. <laughs> And That's, Sasquatch uh, just cleaning up here, as it's looking very, very strong for him to advance 2-0 in his second match. Yeah, and there's the good game, good luck. Uh, there is a loser's bracket, guys, so keep in mind that Dice is not out.